हमारे साथ अपने सहयोग का शेयर करें जनाब सैद चौधरी
your resources with those who have not. God has been very kind to you. You are placed at a center in the society where you have been blessed with all the goodies in life. But when you see around yourself in the community, you find out that there is so much misery, so many problems. They are mind boggling. But at the same time, you think, okay, I, along with my friends in this club, are definitely going to make a difference in the quality of life, make the difference in the life of the people in this community. Maybe it is in reducing the child mortality. Maybe it is improving the health condition of a particular community. Maybe it is just creating awareness about how important it is to send your children to the school. Maybe it is just telling a mother how to have her hands clean before preparing food for the children. How can you have the children nice against the deadly diseases? All this is, I tell you, as earlier said by my friend Ram Mali, Problems are enormous, but you should not get disheartened by the size of the problems because a life saved is a life saved. And on this, I would like to tell you a story. There was a, you know, when there is a, our friend Ali was here uh, on this, but there's a high tide. A lot of fish, they, are, they, they come on the shore, and when the tide goes back, most of the fish. Especially the starfish, they don't go back to the tide, and then they are left high and dry on the shore. An old man saw a fish well, throwing the starfish back into the sea, and he said, "My little child, what are you doing?" She said, "I am throwing this starfish back into the water." You know, but there are thousands of them lying over there. He said, I don't know what the other thousands of them lying over there. The one I have thrown back into the sea is going to live. So that is the spirit. The life saved is a life saved. If you can make the difference in the life of one family by providing the necessary awareness, knowledge about how to take care of the how to take care of their own house cleanliness, how to ensure that they can have very well added income. You know, that is what I have been saying, and I keep on saying the theme for the year. Every year we have a theme. Last year we had shared rotary. This year we have the theme as a green sphere. We're talking about dreams. These dreams are not the dreams which you see when you are sleeping. These are the dreams which you have to see when you are walking around in your community. You got to be dreamers. Because only when you dream, then you can think of how to achieve things. You got to become achievers. And achievers we will be, inshallah. We will try to make a difference in the life of the people living in the communities around us. We've had a a very wonderful evening till now, and I am not going to further burden you because for the last two, three occasions I have made <coughs> speeches on the same subject, and there is hardly much difference in the audience except a few who have uh, joined today. I am grateful that they did come. So I go back to the original topic which was started by our friend over here, Rahat Malik. Bhakti Farah Sahib. 